Welcome to the second part of our student video series, all about formative. Most formative assignments are self-paced, which means that you can answer the questions in your own time and you can answer them in any order as well. You might see images like this one in your formatives and most questions will need your keyboard to answer. If you see a show your work button like the one here and you click on that, this will open up a whiteboard for you to use you can choose one of the options from the toolbar on the left, like the scribble tool. And if you choose that option, you can use your finger if you have a touchscreen device or a stylus, trackpad or a mouse. You can also type an answer in on the right if there is a box for you to do that, and then click that blue check mark at the right when you are done. Let's take a look at some of these other tools in the show your work question type. You can change the color of the tool you're using, select shapes or the text option. You can also select things that you add to this whiteboard, move them around, resize and rotate. And you can even erase by clicking the backspace on your keyboard. You can also choose the math option and use that math keyboard to add any kind of math symbols to the whiteboard if you like and click add math to do that. And you can also use our erase tool to remove anything and our image tool to upload images, documents and even take a photo to add to this space. You can even zoom in and zoom out on that whiteboard and move it around with the hand. And if you need more space, you can click that arrow to hide the question. Your teacher might also have uploaded something to the background of a show your work question like this. If they've done that, you won't be able to erase what they uploaded, but you will be able to draw, type, scribble and upload on top like this. Did you know that you can record your voice in response to some questions in Formative? If you see a record audio response button, Make sure you give Formative permission to access your microphone if it's the first time you see that. And then you can record your voice. And once you've finished recording, you can play back what you said and even record a new response if you would like. Likewise, if you see a record video response button, then this will allow you to add a video. You can record using your webcam, upload from your device, or record your screen. If this is the first time you're seeing this option, you will also need to give formative permission to access your webcam or microphone. If you're recording your webcam or screen, click the red round button to start recording and then you have two minutes to capture what you would like to show. Click add video when you are done and just like with audio, you can play your video back and change it if you would like. Another question type to know is numeric. You can recognize this question type because it will have a keyboard symbol at the right of the answer box. And if you click on that symbol, this brings up the math keyboard for you to use. A free response question has a larger answer box for you to type in and also a plus symbol at the top right. You can see there are different options there for you to add things to your response, such as audio recordings, emojis of different kinds. You can add images from your device or you can even use your webcam to take a photo right then and there. You can choose the math option to use the math keyboard in your response. You can choose the video option and you can record a video using your webcam or upload it from your device. And then finally, you can also upload a file from your device as well.
When you are finished answering questions, you can click the submit button at the end of the formative. Make sure you click that if you have finished all of the questions, as formative will warn you if that is not the case. Thanks for joining us for part two of this student video series. Join us for part three to learn more about scores and feedback messages.